Welcome back to our Getting Started with Consumption Analytics video series. In this episode, we will focus on Dashboard to empower IT and FinOps teams to manage and optimize your hybrid cloud usage in real time. Let's take a closer look at the key topics we will cover in this video. Edit the current default dashboard to suit your needs. Create a dashboard view tailored to your IT or FinOps team's requirement. Copy an existing dashboard view to reuse or customize for different purposes. Share your dashboard by copying the URL link to collaborate with other teams in your organization. Let's dive in and explore how to make the most of the HP consumption analytics dashboard. Upon logging in to the consumption analytics service, the dashboard is the default landing page. Here you can create and customize dashboards to gain real time visibility into your hybrid IT usage and cost across multiple cloud providers, AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google GCP and GreenLake services. You can easily add and arrange visual cards from various reports to get quick insights. With a simple click, you can drill down into the data to analyze cost and resource consumption, streamlining collaboration on optimizing IT and financial management. Let's explore the various options available for working on the dashboards by navigating to the action dropdown. Let's say we need to add more cards to the existing dashboard view. To do this, simply click on the edit option. Now you can click on the plus card button to open the add card wizard. In the wizard type drop down, you will find various options to choose from including budgets, reports, custom and capacity features. For this video, let's select the budget type under the budget drop down you will see all the available budget reports defined for the billing account let's select finops budget in the by drop down you will see all available department names let's select all on the right pane you will find various cards available such as overview timeline and usage reports let's select overview by department finally click on the add button you can now see the overview by dashboard card has been added to the existing dashboard view. Now let's reorder the card based on your preferences to improve the visual flow of the dashboard. Hover over the six dots icon on the overview by department card. Click and drag the chart to your desired position. Drop the chart in a place to rearrange the order. Finally hit the save button. Let's proceed. Let's say you need to create a new dashboard for a user or a team. Navigate to the action drop down and select create option. You can either use a predefined template or start from the scratch. Templates include pre-configured reports, charts and systems field with populated data which can be customized in the edit overlay. If you prefer a custom setup, select a blank dashboard to manually edit the necessary wizards and configurations. For this video, let's select a blank dashboard, give it a name and set visible to others to provide making it available only to the current user. Also check include time period except default last 30 days under the time period list box then click on the plus card button in the widget type drop down select report under the report drop down you will see all available reports both public and private type let's select aws usage on the right pane you will find available cards like aws cost by product and category select both cards if you need to add more click apply and add another choose cost by department from the report list and click select all finally click the add button you will now see aws and cost by department cards by product category and department 
Now you will view the newly created custom dashboard. You will see cards from public cloud AWS cost and GreenLake services cost by department. You can select a time period from the drop down and all the cards will automatically update to reflect the data for the selected time period. Finally, save the newly created dashboard. Let's consider a use case where you need to quickly reuse an existing dashboard view but later add new cards. To do this, navigate to the action drop down on the dashboard view, select copy option. This creates a new dashboard with the same cards, give it a name and accept the default settings. Now to add an extra card, click on the plus card button. For this example, select capacity under the widget type drop down, then under capacity type, select flex solutions. In the account drop down, choose HPE PM demo. For services, select VM as a service and for the meter, select ProLine course. On the right pane, select flex solutions capacity trend and current month. Click add, finally hit save button. You can also share an existing dashboard view with others. Navigate to the actions drop down and select copy link URL. Note, only reports with public types are allowed to be shared. You can also check the owner of the report by navigating to the action drop down and selecting the about option. If you want to delete the report later, go back to the action drop down and select the delete option. In a nutshell, we discussed managing dashboards by editing, creating, adding and rearranging cards, using the copy features to reuse existing dashboards, sharing via copy link URL and finally checking the owner or deleting. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our next video in the series where we will deep dive into more features and help you visualize and optimize your hybrid cloud usage.